Hello, today I'm taking a look at flash paints made by the Franck and Bourgeois in France. I've got an assortment of the 125 milliliter jars and I've also got the Discovery set which has 20 milliliter tubes. There are 76 colours to choose from and I think most of those come in 80 milliliter tubes and 125 milliliter jars but they also do 400 milliliter jars and 750 milliliter jars in some of the colours. When I opened the jars, the paint was smooth and creamy. I just found the dark brown here and the tan brown a little bit more lumpy in texture, but that hasn't affected how they've painted at all. So first off, I'm just swatching them out. I forgot to press record for the first few. So the paints are vinyl emulsion and they're described as being extra fine, velvety, high covering power, ultra matte, and multimedia. They can be used on wood and cardboard, plastic, etc. And they can be applied directly without any kind of undercoating. I think they're most similar to acrylic gouache. They go on like acrylic paint and dry like acrylic paint, but they have a matte finish. I'm doing these swatches now with paint directly from the jars and tubes and not adding any water. And I dry the brush really thoroughly in between each swatch. I really like the consistency as it is, though the paints can be thinned with water up to 20%. We're told that they have a 30 minute drying time, though I did find that it was a bit quicker than that, uh, though it was quite a warm day when I'm doing the swatching. It also says to wait one week per millimetre of thickness before varnishing, and my discovery set comes with a bottle of matte varnish. Each of the paints then comes with a name, pigment information, an opacity transparency rating and also a light fast rating. All of the paints that I have have an excellent light fast rating. I mainly bought opaque paints because that's my preference and I just bought a couple of semi-opaque ones and one transparent one and a few more semi-opaque ones came in the discovery set. I found that the opacity transparency ratings were pretty accurate though not all of the opaque ones were truly, truly opaque. If you look at the top row of swatches, the yellow, red and ultramarine blue are all semi-opaque. And so you can see the black lines through a little bit more obviously on those ones. The white, Venetian pink and royal blue on the top line are all opaque, but you can still see some of the black line coming through. That being said, I was still pretty happy overall with the opacity of the paint. This still the grand green that I'm painting with now was my only transparent paint and you can see a noticeable difference between this and the others. So next up, I add a second layer of paint to the left hand side of the swatch for some of the colours. I just wanted to see how quickly the less opaque ones build up. All of the ones that I do this to, I write a number two on. And here they all are close up. Next up I grab some different brand acrylics and a Holbein acrylic wash tube and splodge roughly equal amounts out on watercolour paper. I wasn't able to use the same colour across each brand I'm afraid because I was only using opaque paints. I thought it was fairer to use the same opacity for each paint. I found that as far as opacity and coverage went most of the paints performed really well though the Liquitex Professional seemed a bit thinner 
and the Windsor and Newton professional seemed that extra bit thicker. After allowing all the paints to dry, I go over the top of them with some different media. It's likely that I'll be using the flash paint in mixed media pieces quite a bit. First off, I use a luminance pencil. Then I use the Derwent Drawing White, which is one of the most opaque white pencils I've come across. Then I use a Mungio Oil Pastel. And finally, I use a Liquitex acrylic marker. So, the finish on both of the Windsor & Newton acrylic paints and the Liquitex and Talons acrylic paints is a soft sheen, and all of those paints took all of the media quite well. The Holbein acrylic wash and the flash paint dries completely matte though and the biggest difference that I could see is that the acrylic gouache doesn't take coloured pencil very well whereas the flash paint took it absolutely brilliantly. I'm quite excited about that actually because I think having the nice matte finish and the ability to put loads of pencil on top is great. One other thing I just want to test quickly is whether the paint relifts after it's dried. I'm just scrubbing up the paint with a wet stiff paintbrush. You can see that the tiniest bit of pigment comes away, but the original paint swatch looks pretty unaffected. Then next I do a pencil sketch of my local beach and start adding flash paints. It's fair to say that I don't really know what I'm doing with acrylic type paints, so I'm sorry if this is a bit painful to watch. I'll speed it up quite a lot. So this is as far as I get before I decide to stop and let it dry for a bit. The paints themselves are wonderful to use and I just love the consistency still straight out of the jars. I then go back to the dried painting and add some more details. I get fed up with the first painting, it feels like it's just a bit fussy. So I decide to start a new one, but give myself the constraint of only doing it in a few minutes.
I end up not very thrilled with this one either, so I go back to the first one and keep going with it. And I take a break again from the first one and go back to the second one. I'm using 15mm Posca and Liquitex acrylic markers. At this point I'm really not happy with either of the pictures and so I go back to the first one again and have some fun with finger painting. I feel like the picture's a little bit harsh so I want to give it a more smudgy quality. And then I add a little bit of definition back in with coloured pencil. I'm pretty fed up with the painting by this point, so decide just to leave it there. And here's a close-up of some of the details. I mean, it was a really good, useful play, and there's some areas that I quite like. So it was definitely uh, a good painting session. And then back to my second one. I add oil pastels to this one as well. And so here's a close up of my faster second painting. Again, not really finished, but I just didn't want to do any more on it. Well, I hope that was a useful look at the flash paints. I think they are fairly similar to Holbein's acrylic wash paint with the two benefits that you get a lot more volume of paint for your money and that pencil goes over the top so beautifully. That's only my conclusion based on this short play with them, so obviously I need to spend a bit more time with them. If you found any other pros or cons of the flash paints, then I'd be interested to hear them in the comments. Thanks ever so much for joining me and hopefully see you next time. Bye!